we are going to examine to look at a serious notepad plus plus security risk. Yes, a security risk. And not because notepad plus plus itself was well compromised, but because it exposed a problem you see in many update mechanisms. And this issue, it goes way beyond Notepad++. It's a trust issue inside the update process itself. So what happened? What went wrong with that installation file then? Where things went just a little bit wrong, because in older Notepad++ versions, the update process itself did not check or did not verify the installer before executing it. It did not, it did not fully check who signed the installer. And if that signer was really the Notepad++ team or somebody totally different. So it's safe to assume that the updater trusted the update link and the network part where it downloaded the installer more than the identity of the file itself, which is weird. And now the big question, why does this even matter? Well, let me explain. If someone could interfere with the update response on your network, they could change the download link, which is pretty bad. Because if that happened, the updater will then download and run a different executable. And one thing is for sure, that wouldn't be the Notepad++ installer or maybe unchanged altered version. So what was missing in Notepad++? To find out what was missing, we also take a close look at the code itself because something big was missing in my opinion. What was missing was a hard security check before execution of that new installer. The updater should have stopped and asked one, one single question. If this update is really from Notepad++ and if this updater is really from that publisher. And that check, it wasn't enforced. With PESMA PC, the built-in Notepad++ updater is not being used. All updates are downloaded, verified and packaged centrally by us. We don't rely on the device or Notepad++ updater to make that decision. Instead, we deploy the update to Intune and Intune takes care of getting it on all of your devices. So while Notepad++ fixed the issue in the latest version 8.8.9, this entire update problem is already handled when you are using PetsMyPC. PC. 